Hey guys, my name is Tabby Allen and welcome to my channel. So guys, if you're new here, don't forget to um, like, comment and subscribe and also hit that notification bell to let you know when I've released a new video. Um, I'm just going to take you through to a quick makeup tutorial. I did this look the other day and I really liked it so I thought I'd post it. Um, so I started with my concealer just to hide any of the dark spots um, or blemishes and then I've just taken my concealer brush and I'm dabbing it in just to make sure everywhere is covered. So I, I like to do this before I put my foundation on because then when my foundation goes on and there's my foundation um, it gives a nice coverage. Now my foundation wasn't a lot of money I actually got it from the beauty beauty b or bounty b or something like that um it's not a full coverage um foundation which is why i do use my concealer before using that and now as you can see i'm just using my brush to kind of just dab that in and now i've just gone over it with my beauty blender just to you know just like a paintwork just to make sure all the excess have gone off and it's a nice smooth finish so I'm just dabbing that you know as we go I think I've missed a spot so I'm just gonna go over it concealer and then add a little bit of foundation and go over it with my beauty blender just to even that out a bit once I'm happy I'm gonna move on So now I'm just going to take my <laughs> eyebrow slash um, lip pencil. I'm not quite sure what it is because I've had it for such a long time, but it's just brown and I find this is more of a natural color than using a black pencil for my eyebrows or even for my lips. Um, and I've just kind of drawn the lines to give my eyebrows a nice shape and then I'm kind of, and then I'm just filling it in. So I've started with the bottom and I've gone over the top and I'm just filling it in, you know, short strokes so that you can get the lining correct. Yep, so you can see it's not too dark. Um, I do prefer the brown to the black. Just a little bit more natural. Now I'm going in with my concealer again, just under my eyebrows, just to kind of line it so it's nice and smooth, you know, that sharp look, which you know this this section didn't take me too long because I just wanted to just clean up under my eyebrows you know, not really spend too much time on there because if you're like me I don't have a lot of time to do my makeup and when I do spend time on my makeup sometimes it could take like two hours that's when I put on lashes so this makeup I thought it was really nice really quick and I actually got to do all of what I wanted to do so you can see that now that I've done um, the concealer under the bottom it's kind of a nice shape to it you can see the definition now with my eyebrows and you know that trusty concealer again <laughs> and you can find those in any beauty store and if you've noticed I'm using two types of concealers because the first one is like my natural color and then just to give me a little bit of highlight back to my face um, I'm using a lighter color but I do like to use both of them together because one is too light for me and then the other one is just a natural color so I do use two when I'm kind of contouring here we go now that I've done that I'm just going to use my beauty blender again and just press that in doing under my eyes um, under my nose and also on my chin that's just because that's where the light hits you it's actually quite therapeutic actually when you do it <laughs> and you can see the lighter color now you can really tell that it's bringing some kind of um, color back to my face my face is not just one color but it's got a little bit of definition you can see the light is really capturing that now at the moment and yeah just using my um, my beauty blender just to get rid of any harsh lines so I'm just dabbing the side of my face and now I'm going in with my setting powder and this one is I can't remember what color this one is but it's just kind of yellow setting powder and um, I do have two I do have a white one as well so 
so I'm not quite sure what the difference is I just kind of pick and choose from the day um, depending on what type of look I'm going for so I'm just rubbing that where I've done my contouring under my eyes my chin under my nose and also on my forehead I do do it on the side of my nose as well I must say I haven't snatched my nose in this video only because it does take a little bit of time um, but you know you'll see later on anyway so there we go with that same lip eyebrow pencil it's just multi-talented I love this pencil um, and I use it all the time actually Yep, so there we go with that trusty um, concealer. And I'm just going to use that to set as a base for my eyeshadow. Now, just so it brings out the colours um, a little bit better. I use quite natural, as you can see. I use quite natural eyeshadows. Um, so yeah, it just keeps the powder a little better, I think. Just brings it out so much nicer. Love this look actually when I was finished I was very pleased with myself as you know I'm still learning I'm still growing so we are going on a journey together but I really enjoyed this look um, and it didn't take me too long as well so I was very happy so as you can see I'm just using the smaller of my smaller of my eyeshadow brushes and I'm just setting the foundation with a lighter color I would say it's red or kind of burgundy, a little bit of pinkish kind of colour. Again, it's not too bright, but you can see that I've got on some kind of um, eyeshadow. Not obvious, not blatantly obvious, but it is obvious. And now I'm just brushing off the, um, the setting powder because I hadn't taken it off as yet. Just removing that with my brush. Oh, where I placed it <laughs> you can see the lights really catching that at the moment this is that then again I've gone in with my beauty blender and now I'm gonna use my sleek my sleek blush palette and I've kind of used a rosy pink with a little bit of gold as well when you put it on you use too much of this the light really catches it and it's like whoa Hi. <laughs> so I really like this colour, it's really nice. And then I've gone in with my blusher again just to go over it a little bit. On my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead. Then I'm just gonna use my setting spray. And now I'm going to use my highlight and contour kit, which I'm not going to contour too much because it does take a while, but I am going to try and do a little something, something, you know, as I put the setting powder on the side of my nose, now I'm just going to bring the kind of definition back so you can see. All of that, but just enough, I think, for a daytime look. Now I'm just going to use the shimmer, a little bit to my nose, <laughs> and that little glitter, and I love when I do it above the eyebrow, I love, I love, 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 see the arches, Ooh, hello, and now I'm going to go with my highlight, this, this highlight kit is amazing by the way, love it so much just put a little bit on my cheeks not too much because it's daytime a little bit on my nose as well going over with my beauty blender just to make sure i've got a smooth surface taking off any excess And I got this beauty blender from, I think it was Superdrug. It was, it was, a, it was a little bit, but probably about six ninety nine. But I must say, it was worth the price. I was definitely very happy with it. Yeah. And 
Now I'm just using, I think it's the bigger of my eyebrow brushes, not too big, just gone on the bottom of my eyelids. And this mascara I also bought from Superdrug. <laughs> I feel like Superdrug's taking a lot of my money. <laughs> Even though I don't spend that much on makeup, I think you can get good makeup for a reasonable price. Um, and they do the job just as well. And if you're a beginner, hey, my idea is why am I going to spend a lot of money on makeup when I'm still learning, you know? So when I get to that professional level, I might fork out that professional price, but for now, <laughs> super drug it is. <laughs> and hey, it does the job. So just doing my bottom lashes. I think I've mastered not pulling that face. Hey, does look as though I'm spending a little bit of time, on, but you know, um, you want your eyes to pop, spend a little bit of time on there. And I think just having your lashes done, you know, it really does frame your eyes, which frames your face. And Now I'm just going over my eyebrows with my same mascara brush. I'm kind of just making it a little bit darker, brushing it into place, kind of setting it at the same time. And I'm going to use my lip eyebrow pencil. That's what I'm going to call it. And I'm just going to line my lips. And as you can see, the look is still very natural. It's not over the top. Still very simple for a daytime look. I think it's fantastic. And it's all natural colors. I had to check my teeth there just to make sure that none was on my teeth. <laughs> now with my lip gloss, dab a little bit on my lips. And can you see that look is just coming together? Yes. I'm super happy with it. Again with my setting spray, the last spray. Now that I'm finished, and guys, yeah, that's the final look. You can see the highlight, you can see the blush, you can see the contour. You know, it's just very nice, very subtle, very easy daytime look that's not over the top, didn't take me too long to do, and we are good. Ciao.